I've demonstrated how you can automate almost any parameter in Reason by either Alt clicking on it or by pressing record and then moving a parameter as the project plays back. There is actually a more direct way to do it and you can jump straight to any parameter you want using the track parameter automation menu here. Now, if I was to, for example, start panning the kick drum around, that might sound like quite an unusual thing to do, but it will demonstrate my point. I could go into my device here and I could say, from this menu, I could say I want to jump straight to the pan of drum number one. I happen to know that my kick drum is in slot number one. So if I select that, I then get an automation channel for drum pan number one. You can draw some data in there, go into edit mode, open in edit mode, and I can use the pen tool to draw in some panning, like this. If I play back, you should hear it. Okay, so I could also, let's say I wanted to do something with the blip that's in channel 5, I could find it, I could go to this menu again, and I could choose any parameter for any of the slots, so I might choose drum number 5 pitch, I could automate that. So again, I would draw in some data, and this should send that blip noise up and down. And you can see that it's moving the pitch control here. So just by drawing in a bit of automation there, I've already made that fairly simple beat a bit more interesting. And you can see that if you really went to town on that, and you did lots of automation of lots of parameters inside any particular instrument, you could make it sound pretty cool pretty quickly. You can see that there are lots of things available just for this redrum here. You can solo up patterns, you can change the tone of drums that are in use. Uh, you can mess about with pitches. You can see here that it's actually shown me, because I've automated the pitch of drum number five, it's shown me a little tick next to it, which just gives me an at-a-glance notification that that's been automated, and also a tick in the main menu here, so you don't have to keep digging through the menus to find things. You can change levels, velocity, and more. And what's available to you in this menu changes based on the module. So if I was to load a Thor, for example, this is probably going to have loads of different things. If I click on it and now see what's available, you can see it's a different set of controls, different set of parameters here. You can automate all sorts inside here. The more complex the device, the more stuff you get in these menus. So you can very quickly start to create a sort of organic movement, a sense of movement within any instrument by just automating various of its parameters.